Z92.7, the best variety of old school, and today's R&B. Chris McKinney here, and I have the opportunity to speak to a Flint native and owner and president of the new Flint United, Kevin Mays. How you doing, man? I'm doing well, man. I'm doing really well. Glad to be here. Glad to be speaking with you, man. It's, it's a pleasure. Man, it's excellent of what you're doing, Kevin. How exciting is it to bring a basketball team to your city, the city of Flint? And when did you begin planning this? Man, I mean, first, it's, it's an honor, you know, to have the opportunity. Uh, you know, the, the reputation of the game of basketball in the city of Flint kind of, you know, precedes itself and myself. Um, and so, you know, that's first and foremost. Um, second, uh, the process probably started about six or eight months ago. So it's been, you know, a, a pretty, pretty quick process. Um, but we're here now and, and we got we got some work to do. Most definitely. Now, when I took a look at the league, they have teams in Atlanta, Dallas, Little Rock, Tampa Bay, all the way in San Diego. Kevin, what put it in your heart that Flint needed a team as well? I mean, you know, all you got to do is first, I mean, you can look at the NBA, you know, finals right now. You, you know, you just went from three or four to two guys uh, still competing for that NBA championship where we had Monte Morris. Um, and then we also had actually a referee, an official that was, uh, you know, refereeing those games as well. So, um, you know, looking at things like that, again, the rich history and tradition, the Flintstones, uh, Glenn Rice, um, you know, the multiple other, other athletes that have, have graced those uh, Michigan State courts, uh, the Marquise Grays, um, you got again Monte Morris at Iowa State, um, you got Miles Bridges. Um, I mean, you know, that, that in itself, you know, was enough for me um, to provide a, another outlet here for the city. Chris McKinney with Kevin Mays, owner of the Flint United. Kevin, have you guys made a decision on who will be the head coach? Head coach, uh, conversations are being had right now. We've got a short list of guys. Um, I got to keep it under wraps, but um, we do have a few guys in mind that, that we're targeting, and uh, it'll be a name that, that people can, can recognize. You knew where I was going with it. Is it going to be somebody that we all know and love already? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it'll all definitely right. be somebody you know. All right, I'm not going to keep crying. You gave me enough right there. Chris right. McKinney with Kevin Mays, owner of the Flint United. Tell listeners about the upcoming combine and tryout process and how people can participate. Yeah, absolutely. So we'll have uh, a series of, of regional in-state combines or tryouts uh, starting in Flint on October 24th. Uh, we'll actually go Flint, Detroit, Saginaw, uh, Lansing, Grand Rapids, and back in Flint for the final installation of those combines. Um, but we're on Eventbrite, so you can go to Eventbrite, search Flint United Basketball for that information. Um, right now, we're on all social media, uh, LinkedIn, Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. Again, just search Flint United Basketball, and we'll pop right up. Um, and our website should be available uh, in the next week or so. Still working on some things, making sure that uh, it's got everything we need, but that'll be flintunited.net. So keep your eyes out for that. How many players are you guys going to pick up for this first inaugural season? We're looking at, at 12 guys, looking at 12 athletes. Um, and, you know, we'll go through our combine process. Uh, hope to get, you know, a few from Genesee County, from, from the city of Flint. I think that's most important for us to have that representation. And then we'll grab a few guys from the state of Michigan as a whole. And then we're going to be looking outside the state as well. Uh, the league does a great job of giving us opportunities to provide, uh, to provide exposure for, for guys outside the state. So we have, um, I've probably got, you know, 20 guys that have sent me emails, DMs, and all those types of things from other states that, you know, want to play in our city, that want to be a part of, you know, the history that we have. So we're, we're building a great following so far. Chris McKinney with Kevin Mays, owner of the Flint United. We spoke earlier about an upcoming press conference. Any big announcements that you want to let us in on just a little bit early, Kev? <laughs> yeah, for sure. Press conference, um, still getting the location uh, finalized. Should know that a little bit later. But hopefully we'll be releasing uh, our first jersey images. Um, we'll have a general manager announcement. 
um, we'll announce a potential uh, playing site or location. Um, and then, you know, just to give people a, a little bit of a more personal look and insight into the franchise. Now, Kevin, I see you've been talking to homegrown talent like Marquise Gray and Kelvin Tober. Any chance that we could see them in a Flint United uniform? I mean, that's on those guys. You know, they've they've they put a lot of put a lot of miles in uh, on the court over the years. Um, but having them involved and making sure that they have a voice um, is number one on my list. I mean, this thing doesn't work without the buy-in of the Flintstones, Mateen Cleves, Morris Peterson, uh, Charlie Bell, Marquise. Um, you know, and that list goes on. I mean, we could we could talk about those guys all day. Um, but, you know, that's most important because if you don't have buy-in from, you know, who built it to what it is today and even gave me this opportunity, you know, there is no Flint United. So, you know, we'll, they'll have a, a great, great presence uh, throughout the franchise, absolutely. The thing that I enjoy, Kevin, about this is that you are a former two-sport collegiate athlete. So we're not just dealing with the owner and team president who doesn't know how to go out there and get down as well. Okay. That's right. What excites you most about bringing this new league to the city of Flint? I mean, the, there's so many different aspects. Um, you know, professional sports in any community is going to, you know, speed the pulse of that community up, you know, at the snap of a finger. Um, and then just, you know, on the court, you know, giving, you know, kids opportunities, you know, as early as getting out of high school, um, the landscape of professional basketball is changing. Um, with guys going straight from the uh, high school ranks to the G League and, you know, opting to go overseas. So big picture, uh, we, we hope to provide those types of opportunities. If there's a guy that thinks he, he can make a better transition um, by, you know, foregoing college maybe, um, and maybe not even foregoing college, but wanting to stay home and take college courses and still play for our organization, you know, things like that are possible. And we know in our community and many communities across the country um, that, you know, you can only put five guys on the court at a time, especially in Flint. We've got one high school. It might be 15 or 20 guys that can truly play at a high level. So we think we can open those doors up for them right away. That's amazing. Chris McKinney and Kevin Mays, owner of the Flint United. Kevin, I love sports, so I'm super excited about the thought of y'all being here, being able to watch a new team and become a fan of a new team. But just like how you said it'll impact the basketball players, how will this impact the city of Flint on an economic scale? I mean, economic scale, I mean, if you look at downtown Flint right now, we have the new Hilton Hotel coming into town. Uh, the landscape of, you know, downtown as a whole is changing on a daily basis. Um, you know, we've got a new midtown area developing, you know, pushing further north in the city. Um, the north end is, you know, thirsty for more opportunities and, and more engagement. Um, so we'll be pushing that way. Um, I think the city as a whole is, is, you know, really, really hungry for, you know, positive things. And, you know, that's what we hope to be. We hope to be um, the, the brightest shining light that we have here in the city. And, and we think that our community is prepared for it. There we go. Chris McKinney and Kevin Mays, owner of the Flint United. Now, we talked about the coach, and you're not really hammering down the name and giving me the name just yet, Kevin. Is there any specific style of play that you want from the team? You guys want to play fast. You, are, you got something in mind? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, you got to play fast. You got to have some guys that's living above the rim, um, and especially coming from here, you know, we know what we like to see. I mean, I've been, you know, Googling, you know, old school videos of the Northwestern and Northern games, um, some of the state finals games and things like that. And you just see how those, you know, gyms used to be so packed out and the crowd used to be into it. I mean, and you got everybody in there. Um, so, so we definitely want to bring that same vibe and intensity. So, you know, a lot of run and gun, a lot of lockdown defense, um, and really doing whatever we have to do to, uh, to come out with the championship in year one. Oh, that's what I'm talking about. We claim it early. We get a chip year one. The Flint United, Kevin Mays, the owner. Kevin, give us that tryout information once again for the tryout in the combine, please. Yeah, absolutely. So the first location, and actually I'm going to pull it up real quick and I can give you exact dates. Sorry about that. I should have had it available. Um, October 24th, we'll be in Flint. Um, we're going to announce actual game or combine location soon. Um, but we'll go October 24th in Flint, November 7th in Detroit, 
November 21st in Lansing, December 12th in Saginaw, January 9th in Grand Rapids, and then our final installation, uh, January 16th in Flint. So we'll, uh, we'll get, you know, great coverage across, you know, all our, our major stops in the state and make sure that everybody has uh, the opportunity they deserve to be a part of what we've got. Shoot them that social media and every way to get in contact with you again. Yeah, in any platform, you can search Flint United Basketball. On Instagram, it's flint.united. On Twitter, flint underscore united. But searching Flint United Basketball will, will bring us right to the top of your list. Hey, Kevin, now, if you ever need a six man out there, you know, I got about a good three rebounds in me, and that's about it, man. That's about it, okay? <laughs> that's all we need sometimes. <laughs> well, Kevin, I thank you. Thank you so much for this opportunity to speak to you about the Flint United and the great future that you guys have ahead of you. We thank you, and we wish you nothing but the best moving forward. No, man. Thank you. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me. Love the WDZZ family, um, and we hope to grow with you guys as we move forward. There we go. We are Z92.7.